TFT. Big tracks, little tracks. Following animal print, read to you by ATFT. What happened? A detective says. Who was here? Where did he go? A detective has many ways to find out. One way is to look for the marks someone or something has made. Fingerprints, footprints, the tracks made by bike tires. Sometimes a detective finds a hair, a button, a piece of torn clothing. All these things are clues. They help a detective answer these questions: What happened? Who was here? Where did he go? You can be a detective too, a special kind of detective, a nature detective. Nature detectives find tracks and clues that answer these questions: What animal walked here? Where did it go? What did it do? What did it eat? Where does a nature detective look for clues? Almost anywhere, in the backyard, in the woods, in a city park. You can find tracks in many places: in mud, in snow, in sand, in dust, even on the sidewalk or on the floor. Wet feet or wet muddy paws can make tracks anywhere. Here is a problem for a nature detective. Here's a cat. Here is a dog. Here is a dish for the cat. Here is a dish for the dog. The cat's dish had milk in it. The dog's dish had meat in it. Who drank the milk? Who ate the meat? Look at the tracks and see. Look at the tracks that go to the cat's dish. They were made by an animal that walks on four feet, and you can see the claw marks in front of the toe marks. A cat has four feet and sharp claws, but so does a dog. Who went to the cat's dish? We still don't know. Let's look for more clues. Now look at the other tracks, the tracks that go to the dog's dish. Did you ever watch a cat walk? A cat walks on four feet, but the tracks of his hind feet falls exactly on the tracks of his front feet, so his footprints are one behind the other in one line. They look like the footprints of an animal with only two feet. A cat pulls his claws in when he walks, so he does not leave claw marks. Now, do you know who drank the milk? The dog. Now, do you know who ate the dog food? The cat. The footprints of a fox are in a single line, like a cat's footprints, but they have claw marks, like a dog's. What kind of footprints does a rabbit make? You can see that a rabbit has little front paws and big hind feet. The little front paws will make little paw prints. The big hind feet will make big tracks. Now, here is another problem for a nature detective. Who went lickety split across the snow? A rabbit, of course. But which way did he go? Did he go to the tree, or did he go away from the tree? It looks as if he went towards the tree, doesn't it? You can see the marks of the front paws ahead of the big hind feet. But do you know how a rabbit jumps? Look at that. When a rabbit jumps, he puts his big hind feet ahead of his front paws. What happened here on a snowy day? You can see the rabbit tracks in the snow. You know which way they are going. All at once, the rabbit tracks are far apart. This means the rabbit began to take big jumps. He was in a hurry. Why? Did you see those tracks coming out of the woods? Those footprints have claw marks, like a dog's, but they are in a single line, like the track of a cat. Who could have had made those tracks? There is only one answer: a fox. Now you know why the rabbit was in a hurry. Did the fox catch the rabbit? Look again at the picture on page seventeen. Look carefully. There are big hoof prints in the mud near the river, and there are little hoof prints too. Who was here? 
It was a mother deer and her baby fawn. They came to the river for a drink. Somebody sat down on the muddy bank of the river. Who? This is the mark of a round, fat belly. These fat footprints were made by webbed feet, and somebody made a track that goes right into the water. A bullfrog came out of the river. He sat on the muddy bank to rest, and only a snake leaves a track like that. A snake came down to the river, then he slithered into the water. Here are more tracks in the mud near the river, and there is a little pile of empty shells too. They are crayfish shells. The tracks look like something like the hands and feet of a baby, but look at those long claws. A raccoon made those tracks. Raccoons like to catch crayfish and eat them. So now we know what happened. A raccoon had dinner here last night. He found crayfish in the river. He ate the crayfish and he left the shells in a little pile. A nature detective can find many clues on a sandy beach. When you walk on the beach in the morning, look for seagull tracks. They can tell you which way the wind was blowing when the gulls were there. Like airplanes, seagulls take off facing into the wind. First, the gulls must run along the sand to get up to speed. For takeoff, as they run, their toes dig deeper into the sand. Here, all the gulls' toe tracks are in a line facing east, so you know that the wind came from the east. Tracks are good clues for a nature detective, but there are other clues too. Who lives here? Who ate here? A nature detective. Learns to look and listen and smell. She can find clues in the backyard, in the woods, or in a city park. Do you know who made these tracks? Dog, cat, fox, rabbit, deer, frog, snake, raccoon, seagull. Thank you for watching all the fun toys. Click to the right to see our newest video, and click the bottom to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.